I've tried everything, right? And I'm, I'm currently on a regimen of drops. I was doing four drops two times a day and got down to two drops two times a day. Um, and they basically said that that's what I would be doing for the rest of my life, that the trauma to my eye um, was causing swelling. And um, it was just something I'd, I'd have to live with. And uh, it may come back. I don't I don't know. But I, I went to for my, my follow up. I, I go every three months and the um, the assistant took the you know snapshots of the inside of your eye of the, the retina. And the doc comes in and he goes, he goes, man, I got to tell you, he goes, um, your, your pictures look good. And he always shares them with me, pulls them up. And I'm used to seeing this, you know, pointed peak in my retina from the swelling and the trauma. And he goes, the scar tissue is gone and the swelling is gone. And I said, I, I said, what? <laughs> and he said, he said, the scar tissue is gone and, and the swelling is gone. He goes, so, you know, I'll see you in six months, you know, keep using the drops just as a, you know, as a preventative kind of, kind of thing so that hopefully mm -hmm. it doesn't come back. But the first thing I thought was, I've been using those drops for year, for literally two years mm -hmm. and um, had just, like I said, assumed that that's what it was going to be for the rest of my, and it, and it, it may be, but this, this was such good news. Um, and the interesting thing was. Uh, two or three days before my appointment, I had woken up in the middle of the night and I have a night light outside my house so that you can see a light perimeter coming in around the shade that's pulled down, right? Mm -hmm. Just a thin little band of light. And I rolled over and I looked at the light and I, I thought, wow, that's, that is, that is like a perfect square. And I'm used to seeing this squiggle in my vision. And so I, I, closed, I, I closed my eyes and I, and I opened up and I'm like, there's, there's no squiggle in my vision. You know, the, the lines are, the light lines are straight. Yes. And I thought that's, that's, that's gotta mean something good. And, um, and then when I went to the, uh, to the, to the, to the checkup and he said, you know, gave me the news. I was like, yeah, I almost cried. And this mm -hmm. uh, eyesight is such a traumatic thing. Um, and I was at the point a year ago of, having lost about 75% of my vision. And I just, I was having a hard time coping with the fact that that's, that's what I'm going to see for the rest of my life. And then I had a vitrectomy uh, initially, which is uh, when the, when the retina detaches, sometimes the vitreous in your eye pulls the retina away and rips it. And that's, that's what had happened. So they suck out all the vitreous in your eye they insert a gas bubble behind your eye. And I had to lay face down for five days while the retina reattached. Yeah. And, um, and the result, the result of that was scar tissue, some damage to the retina because of the trauma. Mm -hmm. And, um, so the, and then that, that surgery causes you to develop cataracts in that eye. So I had to have cataract surgery, but they couldn't do that because of the swelling in my eye. So I had to wait a year for that. And then this has been now uh, a year since the cataract surgery. I was still having the swelling. And uh, so that's, that's a long way of saying uh, thank you. Uh, absolutely. Just thank you. I mean, R Richard, I told you this in email already, but when you sent me the first email, I was in a coffee shop when I read it and I, I was holding back a tear because it's, <laughs> I mean, it, it really, it really means so much to hear these kinds of things. Like, well, obviously um, we, 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 speak to people before they get our lights, but it's very rare that we get, you know, full, you wrote a whole nice story. It's very nice to hear those stories and, and absolutely just adds fuel to the fire. I think something well, is quite, I, yeah. No, no, no. I, I was just going to say, I, um, I, I credit you and, and the information you provide and the quality of product you provide because otherwise, um, I, you know, I, I, I may still be dealing with, you know, reduced vision and, and, and that kind of thing. So, um, I, I just, I just, I just appreciate it. And thank you. And I, and the first thing I left the doctor's office and I thought, <laughs> I've, I've got to email Nick, He'll probably think <laughs> I'm, but I've got to email Nick and, and just, just let him know because I've, I've followed your whole story, you know, following the accident and, and, and that kind of thing. So, um, uh, yeah, yeah, just, uh, you were, you were on my mind at that, at that point. So amazing.
just a quick one, Richard. So we've obviously covered what you experienced, but what did you actually do? So how did you incorporate the red light therapy to help with your eyesight? Okay, so usually what I do, first thing every morning, um, I have a gym in my in my house. This is where I do my, my personal training. So I come down every morning at 4.30, 5 o'clock, and I flip on the red lights. And I'll do, you know, my strength training routine or my yoga routine, just, you know, a couple of feet in front of the lights. Um, but then I thought, I'm probably getting some indirect, but I, I wanted more of a focused, focused indirect, you know, light. So I would sit um, probably about a foot, foot and a half from, from the panels um, for 10 minutes. And then I would turn and focus on the back of my head and my back for 10 minutes. And then I'd still use them to do my, you know, my exercises and routines and those kinds of things. But it was a, just a... Um, a because what I had read was that was the in, I never looked directly at the lights, of course. Um, but I don't like wearing sunglasses because I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm losing something when when I when I do that. So I, I always have not worn sunglasses with you know with with the panels, um, but just sitting for ten minutes and not not moving, you know, and and letting letting the light do its thing is 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 that's in my mind that's what I was doing anyway. So. Um, I, I just, man, I'm such a believer, <laughs> I'm such a believer. Yeah. I mean, you've experienced it firsthand now, but you know, okay. as you, as you described it now, that's exactly it. You know, some people think you need to stare directly at the light, but it's literally yeah. that ambient light that you're just letting into your eyes. I mean, in the clinical studies, they often don't use panels. They use little torches and they're very, very <clears throat> low powered torches and right. they will, they will aim that directly at the eyes. But obviously with red light therapy, you now can do all the other things benefits like you're using in your training and muscle recovery right. and those things and just having your eyes open and allowing that ambient light in is enough clearly to see those improvements Absolutely. and it, what, i think what, what's great for you is that you had that experience where you say okay these squares are straight so you're already thinking maybe something's working here and then to see the doctor's scans because you could think maybe the scan was off or maybe it was just in your head but right. to have have those two come together that's that's a yeah, it was exactly because I, I I consciously thought that that has got to be a good thing, you know, because yeah. usually I'll wake up and and it's funny because for the last two years, I, I constantly test my vision. You know, I can't can I see what can I see? How do I see? And so when I woke, it wasn't unusual for me to look over at at the light coming through. And but I usually always just go, yep, it squiggled. And then <laughs> it, it was I paused, you know, I looked at it and I was like, that's that's different that's that's and then i was like there's no there's no squiggle in the darn lines so um yeah yeah and then to have the doctor confirm it that was wow, that was just perfect i mean it, it literally made, made my day for sure amazing richard i listen i really really appreciate you sharing this and obviously taking the time with us as well now to, to tell your story yeah. what yeah. are your what are your plans are you gonna now just carry on same routine and then let's see what happens in the next six months yeah, I, it, you know, it's um, in fact, I've I've done it every day since. Um, and it's just uh, it's part of my routine. And I, I figure, uh, it, you know, if um, it can't hurt, you know, if they can. It, and there's nothing left to him. You know, my, my site is is basically 2020. Um, and to have gone from seriously not being able to see two feet in front of me to to 2020 vision oh, oh my goodness I, I i there there are no words to describe that yeah um yeah so so definitely i'll, I'll continue yeah for sure it, it, you know it's so interesting i mean you think about what exercises there's muscles in the eye what exercise is that it's light and just like you're training people people who don't exercise those muscles atrophy and they get smaller and it's the same thing right. where people are spending too much time inside we're staring at computer screens we're not getting that healthy red and infrared that you should get from sunlight and you've just brought an exercise program back into your eye program, and now exactly your, right. Your eye muscles exactly are strengthened right. up. Yep, that, that's a, that's an excellent point. My um my doctor had uh, you know when when we was talking about the damage to your eye, and I I kept going, you know, well, it, why why doesn't it just get better? Mm. And he says, well, it's like an an athlete when an athlete um, injures a joint or a muscle, you know, it's never really the same again. And so the steroid drops that I'm on just sort of you know keeps it from getting too bad. And um, so to, to get the news that it's, it's not just being maintained, mm -hmm. but it's, it's well, um, wow, it's, 
Yeah. That's amazing. I'm just saying the same thing over and over again, but it's awesome. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Richard, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you for sharing that with us today. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. I appreciate you. Sure.